Alright, Wagyu Akasa, Wagyu Fete, everybody. We're here with the Vishwajit Singh, aka Sikh Captain America. He's a TEDx speaker, um, a DEI activist, and the founder of SikTunes.com. As we get started, I want to say I'm personally very honored to be talking to you here. I know as a kid, the videos of you in your Captain America suit walking around New York City um, were my comfort videos, inspired me so much to pursue things like this, and gave me that confidence and pride to pursue. Uh, six storytelling. So very, very, very excited to have you. Um, Thank you, Michael Yukhalsa, Michael Yukhalsa. That's music to my ears just to hear that my work has was a safe space and also inspiring. So thank you. Thank you for having me. So as an established kind of uh, sick creator for the past 10, 20 years, um, you've become a symbol of representation and empowerment for many, including myself. Uh, can you share the inspiration behind this persona and how it's impacted your activism and advocacy efforts over the years and currently and kind of how that has evolved for you? So for me, the activism you're talking about came out of a tragedy, a big tragedy, the attack on attacks of 9 11 which had a huge impact, as you know, uh, on six uh, across the U.S., across the globe, actually, but especially in the U.S., I was working very close to New York City, so it had a very intense impact on me. Um, I, a few weeks after the attacks of 9-11, there was a lot of hate crimes that were happening, right. uh, impacting six as well and many others in the U.S. I saw a cartoon by a editorial cartoonist who happens to be not sick, uh, but he captured the predicament of a lot of people, brown people after 9-11. He sketched a sick character. To me, that cartoon, eventually months later in 2002, like end of 2002, gave me the idea, you know, I'm gonna start using cartooning to tell my story and tell story of six. So that was a start. It was a single cartoon that inspired me to say, hey, this is an art form for lines and words that you can use to, to tell stories. So I've been cartooning since, uh, actively for 15 years from 2002 to 2017. Wow. Then somehow that cartooning led to performance art hmm. by accident as well. And now eventually uh, a public speaker. Wow. Okay, so that's a quite an involvement and actually quite a unique start, starting from cartooning, which uh, is very interesting to hear inspiration behind because that's not necessarily maybe the first kind of uh, seed that people would think to plant. So how did you evolve that with sick tunes specifically? Uh, kind of uh, what was when you sit down in 2002 and start drawing and start writing, what is going through your head? What are you? What are you specifically looking to achieve on the paper? Yeah, so I am, you know, I'm, so I, 2002 into 2000s, I'm consuming a lot of cartoon art yeah. by famous, amazing cartoon artists. I'm looking at like, how are they telling story in a single panel of a cartoon? A lot of times it's not even multiple panels, a single panel. Okay. And I'm like, wow, they're able to tell a lot on a single panel. So I knew one thing that my cartoons are gonna have, lots of turban and beards, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm like, I don't see six represented in my cartoons. So, either news stories about six or my own life story or people I know who are six, I took that as my source content and I poured it into, okay, I'm gonna sketch this today, right? So my cartoons are full of, they're inspired by a lot of hate and bias crimes. They're also inspired by cool characters like Fajr Singh, who's America on Earth. Yes. Um, so yeah, anything, you know, there, there is funny and light stuff but then there's also heavy stuff. But my goal is using humor and sarcasm to represent our people, uh, you know, for the first 15 years. But then of course, you know, I kind of went into also superhero art. So, you know, you can, the thing with cartooning is you can create fresh things. You can also borrow from existing art. So, and, and a lot of artists do this, right? You don't have to completely reinvent the wheel, right? So you can actually take something that exists and just tweak it and make it your own. Yeah, that's really, that's a, really interesting and unique kind of you operate a very you operate in a very unique sphere not only in six storytelling but in storytelling in general uh, which is why i think you stand out particularly and um talking about that evolution of your art your latest film project american sick made history by being the first film with a sick director and sick story to qualify for the oscars um here at nishcom tv that is a goal of ours it was very inspirational to see that can you discuss the significance of this achievement and the message you hope to convey with this film and future work? Yeah, so American Sick is a uh, co-created by me and my 
fellow filmmaker Ryan Westro, who graduated from Chapman. Uh, he created a lot of, he's created six or seven films, about six, mm. because he, uh, Chapman University has a partnership with Sticklands Film Festival. So, and I mentioned that because there are people who are not sick, you know, who are sometimes our partners who are helping us create content. So Ryan is actually now a friend of mine and we were already like dreaming about creating sort of future films. But basically he is the force behind American Sick. He had created a live action documentary 10 years ago uh, about my Captain America from his heart. And he came to me five years ago saying, this should, I want to tell your life story. Uh, in, in a future film or, or film format. So we decided we're gonna do a short animation film because we did not have a lot of funds. We raised funds. Mm -hmm. um, our goal was to tell a compelling story, an American story, that anybody can connect to, yes. right? It's not a sick story. It's an American story that happens to have a sick character. Uh, and that's our mission. We wanna create future feature length films, streaming platform shows that are American but they happen to have sick stories, or sick characters, sick heroes who are doing all kinds of things. That's what me and him, me and Ryan Wester are already working on. So that's that's my hope and that's my, my goal for the coming few years. Yeah, and I think that really speaks to our goals here as well. Of It's not just about, we're infusing that sick uh, identity and ethos and whatnot into our very American stories. And they don't, they're not mutually excuse, exclusive and they're not the same, but there's a beautiful synergy and integration. But I think you specifically have really um, in American Sick shown that kind of American dream story, that American uh, lifestyle. Um, I want to ask you uh, while we're closing out, um, people over the past 20 years have of course asked you the very important question of how has sick key, sick ethos, sick background, sick life, sick appearance influenced your art, informed your art. But I kind of want to turn the question around as well and ask you, how do you think uh, you are contributing to the kind of collective sick consciousness and advancing the uh, you know, goals of yourself as an individual, yourself as an artist, and then the goals of the fund as a collective? Oh, that's a big question. I will say that I sort of use my vulnerability mm -hmm. to start telling stories, right? So my vulnerability as a sick in post 9-11 environment. Right. Uh, also, I'm a skinny guy. Superheroes are, you know, they're shown as big guys. They, they don't have the stars and authorities. I sort of circumvented that notion, right? Uh, and it took some imagination and courage. Uh, I don't see myself as a courageous person, but somehow it happened. So what I would say is, use and you know Sikhi is about the Sikhi is about self-reflection mm. and using your vulnerability to become a better version of who you are because Sikh gurus always talk about our shortcomings and using be be aware of your shortcomings and then okay take a step to become a better version tomorrow and then even a better the day after right so to me my hope as a storyteller and other six storytellers is focus sometimes less on telling people what Sikhi is. Your storytelling and your characters, the way they act, should be telling people, oh wow, that's cool, yes. right? That our story should speak about Sikh ethos and not about a character saying, this is what Sikh story, you know, this is what Sikh ethos stand for. It's not about the preaching, it's not spitting out an encyclopedia. Yes. I think we've, I, I, you can speak to this more having kind of lived through both eras, but I think we've done a great job on the issue of this man with a turban is a sick. But then the next question is, okay, what does that even mean, yeah. right? And so that's how kind of you can inform them in a way that's not, uh, in a way that's very approachable yes. and accessible. So my last question for you is, what's on the horizon? What can we expect next from, from Rishwajit today? Yes, so I am, uh, as I mentioned earlier, working with Ryan, who are already writing pitches to for full feature length animation films mm -hmm. and also for streaming platform shows. Uh, with the characters, yeah. we uh, are gonna pitch these stories to some of the big studios we have made connections with in the last few months. Uh, and our hope is in the next few years we'll have full feature length films, animation films, or shows on Netflix, Hulu, Disney, you name it. That's kind of what we're envisioning in the next few years. Amazing. All right. Uh, that was Vishwajit Singh, uh, one of the premier six storytellers. Uh, and a lot of really insightful thoughts and again just such an honor to be able to talk to you right now uh please subscribe share and like this video to support us